job. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
But man, we're way down there. We got more enough guys now. And all of a sudden, here comes the manager. Uh, and we're running down there. It's quite a ways away. We're running down there to the gate because our dear brother, he's all open the gate for him, but the manager opened the gate and I think. Why do people just follow, do what they're supposed to do? Not think. Come on. Now wait. We're a work in progress. And this is what all of us, all of us, all of us. I got there right behind you guys. I was right here. It's a long time. Amen. Oh, no, wait, no, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. I really think never. No. God's using him mightily. The enemies will fight him. Yeah. But here's what I'm trying to say. My idea is okay. We made up a, this is what I'm talking about. Instantaneously, you gotta make up your mind. Okay, well, our dear brother did his piano move. And I was there to help. He did. And I did help, and I helped out too. Yeah, he did. He made, he made the band in bed. I thought it was closed. It said closed. She was there sleeping on her or something. I thought it was closed. Now, all he had to do was follow me. That's all. But I must have. He took off way ahead of us. He knew where he was going. Uh -huh. And he did. Uh -huh. right. But it's going to be a time. We can't read for our own lives. Come on. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, oh. I'll tell you what. You give me, you give me about 20 of him, we'll go take the world. I'd rather have God like him. Somebody's afraid to do something. You're going to be doers, not here. Amen. Amen. You got to hear him. In fact, every morning, five days a week, you know, I pick up people, and then we come up to Osborne and 35th Avenue, I think it's 3402. Well, it's 4401 West Osborne. No, it's not. Okay, hold this. Wait, let's go ahead. Talk. We just thank God that Church on the Street has a place where people can really grow in the Lord. And please believe it's not cliche. We are becoming Christ-like. You hear it all the time. But it's, you might not get it yet, but we, we, we give ourselves. We give our lives. We give our talent. We give everything that we have so people can get saved. Are we perfect? No. I make mistakes all the time. I blow it all the time. But at the core of it, at the foundation of it, we want to see people get saved. Here's a young man that's 
working with Island Ministries, actually running Island Ministries, has been really doing great. So many of you guys that have done put all your all into the place that you've uh, uh, If I could say that, don't move from where you're at because God is doing something. God is doing an amazing work. Each and every one of us can do something. And I'm just so thankful you guys just came. I think these are the only two people in this whole world I really truly believe this, that have this many children. You know, this is, this is, he was kind of my right hand for a long, long time. And then God. See, here's what you got to understand. There's a time and place that God says, now it's time for him to go someplace else. And he's doing an excellent job someplace else. And when we find out, find out that Bella may really kind of agree with you. Probably not that crazy old man. And I didn't really want to lose him. But, this is what I mean. You've got to let God be God on God's terms, not our terms. And just see what God has. To me, I'd rather raise up people that can be productive. Really productive, where they need elsewhere. They're not a whole bunch of, what do you want to say? People here think they can do it all by him. No. Pastor, I... That part of it was uh, heart wrenching to me. Separating, moving away, and but he's right. It's uh, thirty four oh two. You get thirty four oh two, you like the door. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Yeah, um, he said it's time. It's time to go, and I went. What God is doing is I'm truly, truly just amazed. I'm constant, constant correction and blessing that God gives me. I'm so thankful for you, Pastor. Well, you know, it's just be thankful you. We just need to do the will of God, right? Not compromise? Yes, sir. If it's 3402, it's 3402. <laughs> Not across the street. That's what they see. Yeah, hey. love church on the street and you want to see church on the street develop into what church on the street is really about it is going to be I have the perfect teachers that's what Miss Deween and they get to be you know I pray that they stay around with us for many many years right? Amen. Um, because we still have so much to learn so God is so good to us uh, Pastor Walt and Miss Deween have awesome health and we're going to keep praying that they continue to have also now that for them to just keep teaching us and building church on the street, okay? Um, but right now, because Miss Louie helps me out so much with this and helps all of us out with this, with prayer. So Miss Louie, come up here and pray for us. All right. I want to mention this. I don't know how many know that. Um, I think he's a pastor. Pastor J.D. Hill just lost his wife. Carol was sick off and on, but she passed in the memorial services next Saturday over in Mesa. And we want to pray for J.D. Hill for comfort upon the death of his, his blood. And I have a good praise report. My girlfriend who went in for that operation had 12 inches of her colon or her intestines removed. Then they took samples, sent them to the lab. No cancer anywhere. No So it was a great opportunity for me to witness and praise God. Amen. So there you see a prayer request. You see the many people at the hurting, their physical problems, as well as you see the special needs. And don't forget our our four ministers that we support: Ramon and Teresa down in Mexico, Pastor Jesse in Nicaragua, and Dr. Fais Raman over in India. Join me in prayer, Heavenly Father. We just thank you so much for your faithfulness and love, and we thank you, Lord, that you are a God, a faithful God. And you are God who hears our cry. And Lord, I just lift up all these needs to you, God. We agree in the name of Jesus for J.D. Hill. Lord, comfort him during this time of loss. 
and we just pray, oh God, that he would sense our love and our support and be with church in the street, raise up workers, raise up disciples, and provide the finances that we need. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay, the prayer doesn't stop there, guys. So we, if you look at our bulletin, okay, in our bulletins, we have all these prayers. Uh, we have this in our bulletin, so if you want to continue praying for them, it'd be awesome. You can also be here at 5.30 before service to join Pastor Wall and join our prayer group on the other side of the building, okay? So make sure you guys get here to do some of that also. That'd be, we really, really need prayer. Miss Louine will also put some other prayers uh, that you guys write down in our prayer cards, okay? And then we also pray for you down on the other side. So if you haven't filled one of these prayer cards out, make sure you fill out a prayer card if you need prayer. And most importantly, if you haven't filled out or need to update our connected cards, our uh, welcome cards, make sure you fill these out, okay? Is there anybody in here who hasn't filled one out yet? Or needs to fill one out? Okay, go ahead and shoot, guys. If... <laughs> okay, make sure you give them one. Uh, Moses, can you give the two guys in the back one, please? Thank you guys. And then if you need pencils or pens, they're right there on the side right here. Okay, make sure you fill those out, put them in the offering basket when they come around. Okay, in our bulletin, you will also see that there, and this is pretty cool today. Who wants to get in the water? Who wants to jump in the water today? <laughs> today is baptism day. I think I had a couple of men. We have a man who is going to get baptized. And believe me, that water is going to be nice and ready when we get out of service, okay? So I recommend, hey, if, you, if you're thinking about it and, you're, and God is nudging you, it's time to do it today, amen? So give your life to the Lord today. I know you have already, but look, get in there and, and, and just make a declaration. Make a declaration, come out a new man, amen? Let all that sin wash away, and you're going to come out feeling so awesome, amen? amen. Okay. Um, also... I want to remind everybody that we do, we're going to start planning our fall picnic. All right, for those of you guys that were in our first picnic, uh, I want to make sure that you guys also start telling the other alumni, telling your other friends to start coming into service. Fall, we're going to have an awesome picnic again, okay? And uh, details will come on that. All right, uh, I want to welcome, uh, actually Paul, I just wanted to welcome him to our church. You know, Paul's also uh, been one of the disciples that Pastor Walt uh, uh, raised up and he's running a house of refuge and they help us out and you know behind the background he's always helping us he, I believe he's the one that brought us on the side so that they're the ones that you know they're always trying to find ways to help us and they're always trying to find ways to join in with us and do different things so I just want to you know tell Paul thanks for being here today okay um, now if we can get the ushers up here we're going to go ahead and collect our time for the week okay one of the best things that we can do today is give. Amen. We always want to receive, but today we want to give. All right. It, it's a lot better to be giving than having to receive, right? So I want to just welcome you today, and you know, don't be afraid to tithe. God's not at all working together. And yes, you know, the economy is going crazy, but God always finds a way to get us out of these different situations. Amen. He does. Okay. Let's just go ahead and collect our tithe and let's pray for it right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray to you, Lord God, thank you. Thank you that you've given us an opportunity to tithe today, Father God. For those that can't help them out, Father God, so that when it's the right time that they also will tithe, then we ask you, Father, just to multiply. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.
I, I did, but then I put it aside. You know, I did. Uh, because what I want to do today is, uh, today's Father's Day. You know, Amen. we're going to celebrate Father's Day. Amen. Right? And we're going to, so we're going to, you know, we're going to, obviously we're going to talk about the fathers that are here today. You know, thank God for the fathers that are here. But we're also going to praise Him. Praise the Father. Fathers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to start. So the first thing, let, let me pray. And then we'll... We'll get started there, man. We're going to have fun though. It. It's going to be a little different than, than the days when we're teaching and preaching. Okay? We're, it's Father's Day. I, I believe. I prayed. And the Lord's, and the Lord just gave me a good feeling about this. Amen? Amen. All right. So, Father God, I just want to thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Since the beginning of time, you fathered us, Father God. And you watched over us. And you took care of us, Father God. And Lord, a lot of times we're, we run away. We're like a deadbeat son, but you always were there to rescue us. Like that sheep, the 99, you left behind and you got me back in, just like my brothers and sisters, Lord. We love you. We thank you. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we just encourage each other right now with love and good works, Father, and that we just remember that you are love. Thank you, Father God. That you, that God is love. And that's what the Bible teaches. And that's what we're going to talk about today. You are love. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right. So let's let's start having some fun, right, today on Father's Day, okay? First thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to do some dad jokes, okay? Now, these are going to be clean and some dad jokes, right? Now, what qualifies as a dad joke? Anybody know? Well, first you got to be a dad, right? What's that, Dernie? What's that? Okay, exactly. First of all, they got to be corny. It's got to be a corny joke, right? Because dads do corny jokes, right? they got to be short, because dads don't really have a, a long attention span. Right? they got to be quick, right? So they got to be quick and corny. That's a dad joke, amen? So I got some. And I want you guys, now these gotta be clean and wholesome. When I finish, I'm gonna do a three dad joke real quick in the morning. And if you have a dad joke and you wanna share it, come up here with me, you know, and when I'm done, I'll call you up. And you can share the dad joke, okay? Uh, but again, we're in church, remember? <laughs> watching this right now and when they watch the live stream we love you we 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 pray that you guys join us soon and you know stay on the live stream and you're gonna have some dad jokes and we're gonna have some fun today so god bless you guys at home okay here we go first first dad joke let's see let's see if i get these right i'm not as good as miss louis but i'll get this all right so oh i got the wrong one see i'm already started I'm already starting the wrong one. Hold on, give me a second. Father's Day, dad jokes. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so I found out that Pastor Walt takes a pair of pants, an extra pair of pants, when he goes golfing. Does anybody, anybody know why? In case he gets a hole in one. <laughs>
Marty Dell. Tell my dad. Come on. There's a couple more names I'll give you guys a chance. Did you guys know that I'm on a seafood diet? Yeah. I see food and I eat it. Alright. You know, nowadays, uh, last one, and I'll give you guys a chance. Nowadays, I'm afraid to look at the calendar. You know why? Because it stays our number. <laughs> I have one. This one's a stage, by the way, but. Gotta be quick. Alright. Okay. This is a dad joke. Okay. I told my wife she needs to start embracing her mistakes, so she hugged me. Uh, younger, 
right? Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. Thank you for caring for people like myself. Your ministry impacted my life. Yes, okay. uh, Victor Baca, right? He's a leader, the leader of the Victor Baca, anybody know Victor Baca? Yeah. Yeah. It says, Pastor Walt, great man of faith and heart of God's children and for lost souls. We're so grateful for your heart and we're and, and well appreciated. Okay? And there was more, but we don't have, you know, we can't read them all. Okay, Antonio King. Anybody know Antonio King? Yeah. Or one of our, our cooks. Yeah. An amazing cook. He's oh, got yeah. an awesome chef oh, yeah. job, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Right? Antonio <laughs> King says, Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. And thank you for being the man of God that you are most, that, that you are most of all. Thank you for being my spiritual father on earth. Love you with all my heart. God bless you. Now, these are, these are mighty men and women that have went on, took the teachings that Pastor Wall has, you know, this passed on to us, and they're productive, honest, awesome men and women of God that are out in the world yeah. preaching the gospel, working, uh, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yes, Pastor Wall, with their spiritual father, and his doing spiritual mother. Elizabeth Marks, happy Father's Day. To the greatest example of Father's love, your presence has impacted my life greatly. Amen? Yes, we, can, we can say that about many, many people there. Yes. Pastor Walt's impacted. Okay? Yes. Edward Smith. Hello, Pastor Walt, my spiritual dad, great man of God. Chris Gaines. Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. I personally thank you for your wisdom and your guidance. Your yes. example will be taught for future generations. Thank you. Well said. Future generations. Amen? Yes, sir. Okay. Tim Booker, right? Anybody know Tim Booker? Yes, Tim Tucson. Yes, Hello, Tim Tucson. If they're online, God bless you, right? And if they see us later, God bless you. And Tucson, we're praying for you guys. Tim, uh, Tim Booker says, Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. Uh, nobody can deal with people like you. You're awesome. Love you. I, I attest to that, right? Yes, sir. Amen? Okay. Tracy Bishop. Uh, Pastor Kevin Bishop's wife, right? Uh, Tracy Bishop says, Thank you, Pastor Walt, for, for Cox, for Church on the Street, and for your unfailing faith and love of the ministry you have dedicated your life to. You, you showed me what Jesus really looked like, and I learned more in my time there than my many years of life prior to Cox. That's amazing message. In her time there, I think she was there about seven years, something like that. In her time there, she learned so much, right? David Burton says, I love you, Pastor Walt. You're truly one of a kind. You were there for me when the whole world turned their backs on me. I appreciate your love and commitment to me more than you will ever know. And more than words could ever say. Yeah. All right? Okay. I'm sorry? He was here. He was here last Tuesday. He was here. Uh, Mary Church. Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. Praise the Lord. Is there any more? Okay. Darla Austin. Happy Father's Day to you. Oh okay. Uh, Darla. Danny, uh, Danny Vitos. Right? Vitos. How do you say his last name? Vitos. Right? He says, Pastor Walt, I still think about stuff he said. Thank God be God. Amen. <laughs> All right? Joey Long. Anybody remember Joey Woo! Long? Yeah. Right? Joey Long. Thank you, God, for giving yes. us Pastor Walt. Okay, Remington's down. And by the way, Remington uh, had to go pick up his daughter in Gallup. So he was supposed to go yesterday, but yesterday they had a service for uh, Forrest and for his father's uh, memorial. So he was here today, and today he went to go pick up his daughter. Okay, so we'll keep praying for them. He says, Happy Father's Day, Dad, from the Stanley's, Karina Stanley. Okay? Uh, Felicia and Ferdick. It says, Thank you, Pastor Walt, for all your guidance. Happy Father's Day. Okay, and Bobby Lair, where's Bobby? There he is. Bobby Lair says, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me to the right hand of our Heavenly Father. Happy Father's Day. Spiritual guidance, Pastor Walt and Miss Louise, number one big body under Christ. All right? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's keep going. Anybody know Pat Bianco? All right. Pat Bianco. Pat Bianco says, the coolest man out there. <laughs> Alright, Gallops. Gallop Cotton Sound. It says, Pastor Walt, you're the best 
You're the best. Happy Father's Day. You gave me a chance when I was at my lowest point and helped me re rededicate my life to the Lord, and I've been completely changed. I owe you so much. Oh, and by the way, this is Chris Floyd. Remember Chris Floyd? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Chris Floyd, okay, amazing man of God. Okay. Kathleen Hippelman, happy Father's Day to you, our spiritual father, Pastor Walt, Mike, and always love you, okay? We'll love you always. And Joanne uh, Benesiki Graff, thank you, Pastor Walt, for always being there for me and all the help you, you've given me through my tough times with my son. I don't know what I would have done without you. I will never forget you. You made a big change in my life. Okay? All right. Uh, Robert Lawrence. Touch the wall, man of God. True example of Christ filled life. Both him and Miss Louise, his wife. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Yeah. All right. There any more? Okay, we got some more. Uh, Cheryl Van Hagen. Happy Father's Day, Pastor Wall. Thank you for being as God planned. Love you always. Too tall. <laughs> okay? JJ. That's JJ right there. Pastor Walt, yes, thank you for being all our father on Happy Father's Day, okay? Elizabeth Kubiak. Uh, Kuboche. Kuboche, I'm sorry. Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. Miss you like crazy. Thank you for all you did for me in caps. Amen? <laughs> all right. Tracy Blanchard, Happy Father's Day, Pastor Walt. And Elizabeth Martinez says, Happy Father's Day. Love you, Pastor Walt. Okay? A couple more. Last one. Here we go. William Bloomer. Who knows Pastor Will? Yeah. All right, Pastor Will says, thank you, Pastor Will, for being one of the few leaders and spiritual fathers who, like Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Right, Pastor Will? Okay. That's the way Jesus disciples, by example. And then his disciples, filled with the Spirit, went out and, you know, you know what they did, right? Changed the world. Okay, Malva. Remember Malva? Yeah. yeah. Everybody? Right? Love you. Okay, Nicole Marie Arredondo, she's in California. Wish I was out in Arizona to march with you faithful soldiers in Christ, praying for church on the street, and the kingdom of heaven to continue to grow and advance. And James Almondova says, Pastor Walt, I'm grateful for you giving me the chance to, to grow and to become a better man. I wish you the best, and I know that I will always know the best number one pastor of all your prayers, all your prayers and love always to church on the streets. Amen? Now, we can go on and on and on and on for days, right? Because Pastor Wall has made that impact as a spiritual father. So many, so many, many, many of us. Okay, so let's give Pastor Wall a round of applause. Don't go nowhere. 
Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Everybody's got a track? All the fathers got a track? Okay. All the dads got a track. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, God has chosen you to be fathers. Amen? He's chosen you to be fathers. Uh, here you go. Okay. I would like for every single one of you guys to give that track to one of your sons or your daughters. Right? One of your children. Okay. If they're not physically there with you, uh, then you know, give it to somebody. <laughs> See, he's already done it. Give, give that to one of your children. Here's me, here's why, guys. We as fathers have a big, big responsibility. Okay? Financial, I mean, it's not easy to be a dad right now. Financially, and for mothers too, right? But man, is it hard to be a father, right? Uh, because of the economy, because of the world, because of all those things that are happening. So I want you guys to, you know, give one of your children. What's the best gift we can give them, right? Give them one of those traps, right? And what we're going to do, the rest, everybody is going to, you guys are going to turn around that way, and we're all going to, Extend our hands to these fathers, and we're going to pray. I'm going to pray for them, right? So let's go ahead and just turn around that way. And I want everybody to extend their hands out to these children, right? Who are dads, who are fathers, amen? And I'm going to say a prayer, and I want you guys to agree with me, okay? And in the end, we're going to, everybody's going to say, amen, right? Because we're going to agree. And when we amen, we're agreeing. Is that right? Okay, here we go. I'm going to pray for these fathers. Father God. You have picked these fathers. You have chosen them, Father God. I pray that you give them strength. I give. I pray that you give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Father God, so that they can continue to build and, and raise their children in a Christ manner, Father God, with the teachings of the Bible, Lord. Give them strength, Father God. Build their relationships and mend those relationships, Lord, that are not there yet, Father God. If some of them still have problems with some of their children, Lord, Father, you can do anything. All things can be done through you. So I pray that they mend those relationships, Father God. But most of all, I pray that they continue to seek you, continue to be guided by your light, continue to be guided by you so that they can build up strong children that follow Christ. I pray this in Jesus' name, and everybody say, Thank you to all the fathers. Thank you to all the fathers. Okay. And also, um, I wanted, uh, Ms. Barb, you wanted to say something to the fathers. Ms. Barb, you can come up here and say something to the fathers. Okay, Ms. Barb's got something to say. Have you seen the uh, 30,000? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway, um, the Lord's put on my heart, you know, I, I get this 1%. He says, it says 1%. Yeah. I said, Lord, well, what are you talking about? 1%. There's only 1% of the population committed to the Lord. But, the God, but, you know, there's a lot of people that are Christians that but they're recruiters. Now, then, that you guys are on the front line. You're not recruiters anymore. You're, you're lawyers. And lawyers are people that can get things done. And so just think of the uh, army. You think of that. You think of the people on the front line. They get the job done. And, and the Lord says, keep on going, guys. Keep on going. It's like the dirty dozen, like that show, the dirty dozen, that's the way you guys are. But he says, you keep on going, commit yourself, and you're on the front line, you're going to get the job done. In Acts, when Jesus left, he, 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 yeah, just a few, just a few, turn the world upside down, just a few. Do you understand, do you really understand? How he has chosen you and picked you. He says, you're on the front line. You know, you're, 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 you're not recruiters. You've been through it all. Yeah, Just keep yeah. on going and you'll get the job done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the rest of you guys are not off the hook. You still get a track. 
So, Ms. Ernie, if you can pass these out. So the rest of the people that did not get a track, if you don't have children, give it to somebody out there, okay? There you go. Give it to them. Uh, Kevin, if you can give the tracks out to most. A lot of these people start in the back. Uh, if you, some of you guys don't have children yet, and that's okay. You know, God, it's God's timing, right? Uh, so give that to somebody. Somebody out there that needs it, uh, make sure you guys don't keep that one. Make sure you give it out to somebody, okay? All right, so what we're going to do next is now God put it in my heart. And it's so, it's so silly because, you know, you know I, I didn't know how to pray on this one. I said, well, what should I do? Well, you know, I just... I'm gonna do what God put in my heart today. He knows already. Like, how do you keep things from God? Like, how do you? But you know what I said? Okay. You know, I'm gonna praise the Lord, the Father of Fathers, my heavenly Father. We're gonna praise Him right now. We're gonna thank Him. We're gonna give Him all the glory. We're gonna give Him all the thanks. We're gonna love all of Him. Just look at some songs. If you want to praise God, go and look at some of the songs. Amen? So I picked out my first song. And now I want everybody to stand. Everybody to stand. We're going to praise God now, okay? So the first song. This, this, is, it. this is the first song. we got to get crazy with this. We're going to love on God right now. Our Father in heaven. Okay, Psalm 100. The first, the first verse in Psalm 100 says, Shout with joy to the Lord on the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Loving God. Yeah. Yeah. 
gives, right? He loves us. Let all that I am praise the Lord. All that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise His holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things that He does for me. For everybody here, right? He forgives all my sins. And He heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercy. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Praise God for that. Praise right? God. Praise God. He reveals His character to Moses and His deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing okay, love. Thank you, Jesus. He will not constantly accuse us. Praise God. Don't sure. remain angry forever like Can't the devil stop. tries to accuse us, right? Can't stop. He does not punish us for our sins. He does not deal harshly with us as we deserve. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God for that. For his failing, unfailing love for those who fear him is as great as the height of heavens above earth. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. As far as the east from the west, the Lord is like a father to his children. Yeah. Thank the Lord have the father's day. Very tender and compassionate to those who fear him, for he knows how weak we are. Our redeem, our, our, he remembers we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers. We bloom and we die. The wind blows and we are gone as though we had never been there. But the love of the Lord remains forever with those who fear Him. His salvation extends to the children's children and to those who are faithful to His covenant and to those who obey His commandments. The Lord has made the heavens His throne. From there He rules everything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And His mighty love to carry His plan, listening for each of His commands. Yes, praise the Lord. You armies of angels who serve Him and do His will. Praise the Lord. Everything He has created.
all I need is that you love each other, that, that you're united as brothers and sisters. Isn't that exactly what God is telling us? That's the best gift that we can give each other, is to be united as brothers and sisters and love each other. That's the best gift we can give them today. Amen. So listen to me. If you have ought against someone, if you have bad feelings against someone today, Today is the day that we can give the Father a gift and say, God, I want to forgive that person. I want to love on that person. It's hard, God, but how do I do it? And it's praying for them. It's asking you to mend that relationship. It's asking the Father to build and build love around that person. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's all stand to our feet. Let's all stand to our feet. Okay? Woo! All right. Today was a little different than other days, right? But today we dedicated to the Father in heaven, right? And we also honor the fathers here that are building their lives with their children, yeah? So we're going to go ahead and pray out. I'm going to give this to Pastor Walt uh, right after I just pray for you guys one more time. I'm going to give it to Pastor Walt and he can close up. So let me just pray for you guys. Father God, I praise you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for the time we get to spend together. I pray for every person in here, Father God. And for those who don't have children yet, Father God, that they just be patient with you, Lord God. No matter what, you chose everybody for a specific reason. So I pray, Father God, that they continue to know that they are loved, Father. And I pray for every single father in here, Father, to continue their journey, Father, to continue their relationship with you so that we can build strong children of God, Lord. I pray, Father God, that we all go home tonight thinking of you, as the ultimate father that there will ever, ever be in our lives, Father God, you always have, you always have taken care of us and watched over us, Father God, and you will never leave us for the sake. So thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.